Today we're going to study an electrical generator which was drawn in crops in 2008. Here we have seven wire coils and two magnets, one set of N magnets, another set of S magnets rotating over it. And this was based on this crop circle which appeared near Furze Knoll in June of 2008, a high frequency single phase AC generator. Originally had 25 wire coils around two magnets, but we're just using seven to save money and everything. Now I've already tested this thing with spinning and you can see it's very, it's about the air gap and there's a little motor down there driving it, a little 12 volt power supply. And I've already tested seven coils in series, two sets of magnets at 500 RPM, give AC 50 volts, 0.2 amps or 10 watts. That's a bit abstract, however. So what we're going to do is just get a light bulb, 60 watt, 248 volt AC, and we're going to light up the light bulb. Put up a little safety shielding, and here we go. Going now at about 400 RPM, and the light bulb's starting to light up. We'll go a little bit faster. And the light bulb's getting even brighter. I don't want to break anything, so let's turn it off now. Another interesting aspect of this device with seven coils and two NS magnets is when we apply a load, it doesn't slow down very much. Here we have two cables, red and black, and I'm going to short them now, watch what happens. It slows down a little, but not really very much. That's shorted, full load. And this is unshorted. So it slows down moderately, but it's quite an attractive device. It doesn't slow down that much. These studies are just in their early days. You can see the two magnets, red and blue, spinning over seven wire coils. Here's the light bulb. We just lit up 100 watts and about 10 watts we put in at 50 volts, 0.2 amps. But the interesting thing is this design was based on a crop circle from June 2008 near Furs Knoll. We have a 25 coils and two magnets N and S. So we have an odd number of wire coils with N and S magnets rather than an even number. And that's the geometry we've been studying here. Why does it work for an odd number? What happens is when this N magnet is sitting over this coil, the S magnet is sitting between two other coils, or for example, here or over there. Another thing that's really good is these coils shouldn't be right next to one another, but spaced out a little bit to get maximal efficiency. We'll continue these studies further. Thank you very much and best wishes.